my shorties for sticking with me and fighting. This same court that granted me bail stood idly by and watched as the army disobeyed court order after court order. The army in contempt of court came to kill me. Some of their media friends slept home preparing to go to Abuja for my case and they came to kill me. They even killed Jack, our dog. They killed my cousin, Adako. And 28 others that died that very faithful day. Senator Abari Bay is a very brave man. And Michiko Kikabi, I'm a blessing. Miss Tuchendo, very strong and resolute. And our high priest, our rabbi, Okabe and Mado, all that stood shorty for me. I am humbled for what you have passed through on my account. Your names will be written in gold in the course of time. Regarding my legal case and the lies being peddled by some segments of APC friendly media. The consequences of my unavailability is as a result of the persecution, the night and against the movement of IPOB. Let me make this very loud and clear. The notion that I jumped bail is a fallacy, a lie, and a deceit. It is untenable in law. Jumping bail as anyone that has rudimentary understanding of law has to be intentional. It has to be out of somebody's volition. It has to be out of a conduct that the person is well aware of before time. In my case, on the part of the accused, what happened to me in September of last year, on the 14th of September to be precise, is better witnessed than imagined or recounted. The video is all out there if you want to see it. I went to a half year as I recounted earlier, ready to appear in court the next month. They know I'm not afraid of them and can never be. They are the ones who are afraid of me. Sudden, the Nigerian state terrorist apparatus was unleashed on me and my family with intention to kill me. Sadly and very sadly, some segments of Nigerian media have chosen to play this down or to ignore it. Sometimes they comment and say, allegedly, how sad for journalism. Their intention was to kill me, to ensure that I didn't make it to court. They know if I go to court, that very country will no longer be the same again. <laughs> to cover the shame, they hastily arranged to kill me. They asked me to call off an Ambra election boycott and I said no. I told Southeast governors I will not call it off until you bring me something tangible from Abuja. Go and get me a date for a referendum, then I will call off the boycott. There was no date for a referendum, there was nothing tangible at all about devolution. Wow. You want me to call off boycott and said no. They arranged to have me kill. Hey, then they can continue to enjoy their one Nigeria. They didn't want me to make it to court to prove my innocence to prove that they have no case against me. As I told them then and I tell them now, Nigeria cannot jail me. I will fight this very case. When that failed, they deployed every mischief to frustrate every effort I made to get this very case going. Part of their strategy was to ensure that the court would hold no hearings on the peculiar circumstances of my unavailability. But they succeeded at it. Because till now, Bintan Yako's court 
is yet to hold. Circumstances or what led to the Nigerian army to come to my house to kill 28 people. I make bold to state that my first and ability deserves court of law, not in the kangaroo court, where all the people will be ventilated to determine the legal impact of that very attack on my ability to make myself available to the court as required. That such a hearing was never allowed to happen in Bintanyako's court is utterly disappointing. And that specifically is what is causing the current impasse. As someone out on bail, why will the Nigerian government come to kill me? Pretend or lie through their feet that I jumped bail when I am a ward of court and therefore deserve the protection of the court throughout the duration of my trial. Had the court found it fit to have such a hearing, had this very cause demonstrated by way of another that I should not be shot on my way to court, we would not have this very own pass. But they know the truth, but they conceal it, they hide it, because Nigeria is of wickedness. I will return to my land of Biafra. I am not a Nigerian. I renounced everything to do with Nigeria on or around the December of 2015. I am a Biafran and I hold British citizenship. Only upon a clear pronouncement of the intentions of that very court. which I suggest to them to be free of any interference from the executive will this very case move forward. The circumstances surrounding the invasion of my house, the invasion of the home of His Royal Majesty is a Israel Okukan. You must know that my father's name is Israel and it means a lot. Going forward, there must be guarantees by the international community so that this case can proceed and I will prove once and for all that there is something fundamentally wrong with the brain of those that run. For now, let me restate my position. I committed no offenses known to law. What they are charging me with doesn't exist. A weapon, my only weapon is a microphone. And my courage that Chukuk Kabiyama gave me. But it's up to those who persecute me to see reason to call their troops home. Let me state also categorically that IPOB worldwide is committed to the liberation of the land of Biafra from the shackles of tyranny. And we will not relent until a referendum is conducted if you want us to do anything with you if you want us to conduct any form of participation in whatever it is that you're doing there must be a referendum to decide the quest for self-determination for their friends that is our red line it is not we intend to achieve our goal through any means recognized by national and international laws. My fellow Biafrans, my compatriots, please indulge me to sincerely thank the State of Israel, the persecuted Jewish community in Biafra land, 
and worldwide who through their prayers and actions contributed in no small measure in assuring my physical safety and well-being may chukwoki kabiyama bless the land of biafra may chukwoki kabiyama bless the land of israel our destiny is before us and nothing is going to alter that very path southeast and south south are delta there is nothing like south south there is nothing like southeast all we have is biafra our mothers in Ibom protested our mothers in e Russia protested and are still protesting. Our Konko is an unknown culture. Our people are descended from a quiet Ibibio land. Is of a fake culture, but you find out but things in Iwo land. The divide and rule tactics of the colonial era and the internal. Hegemonic tendencies of Kwari One North, Kwensuna Bamba Nefu. IPOB stands on the truth. We do. To move from our position and our position is very simple mm. nothing will happen. they are registering little children in the north as usual they are doing all they can to hold the people down in bondage. IPOB, well, it is not possible. We are civilized people. We play by civilized rules. There is nothing anybody can do to dissuade IPOB from following this path of total liberation of the land of Biafra. It is sacrosanct. It is not negotiable. As I've always said to you before, and I will continue to reiterate, those of you that stayed the course during my absence, my enforced absence, those of you who diligently pursued the path of truth and of hard work and of this as i once reminded you before we came there was nobody like us now that we are here they pretend they copy they emulate they fabricate falsehood but they can never be like us long after we are gone they will wish we lived forever ipob is very special or panon and we did it because Chukwoki Kabiyama is with us. We did it because Chukwoki Kabiyama created IPOB himself. And we are here to pilot its affairs. We will not prevaricate. We will not stop. We will 
in our slumber and the Biafra is fully restored to its former glory. Anybody in doubt as to our resilience and our determination to our Biafra is not only me. not only guided but needs to see a psychiatrist because we are not stopping I am and I'm the can and I don't stop until I get what I want thankfully my enemies know this and they know what is to come I thank each and every one of you from the bottom of my heart and I remind you all of you that played a very pivotal role in defending justice and fairness like Ba'ayo Adebanjo these are truthful people and I must also add Prime Minister B.B. Netanyahu and I must also wish him a very happy birthday. All the forces of darkness must crumble before us and let me assure you that I am coming. I am coming and nothing can stop Biafra from reimagining. Absolutely nothing. Yes, sir. Let me close by saying this. Everybody should pay particular attention. In my distress, I cried unto Elohim. Adonai, El Shai, Chikuki Kabia, Purimi, Heni, Nonyen, Nefanayim, Farose. I'm not an idol worshiper. Yes, sir. Chikuki Kabia will kill me any day I do. Yes, sir. I came to Jerusalem. Hey! Call it Jerusalem, where I prayed many years ago, and I had this revelation yes, sir. that Biafra will be restored. There is only one creator, not two, not three, not four, only one. If only our people can understand it, if only our people can follow the light, they will be liberated. But we are getting there. Deliver my soul, Elohim, from lying lips and from a deceitful tongue. Those hey, hey. Lie and deceive. He said. We don't know what shall be given to them or what shall be done to them. Those with their false tongues, those that arrows of the mighty will the cause of unity. Woe is me, thy eyes sojourn in the lands of the unbelievers, that I dwell in the tents of those who cannot reason. My soul hath long dwelt with them that hate peace. I am for peace. I, Namde Kanu, is for peace. But when I speak, they are for war. Kachuku kika biya mapuru mi hani me bonyani nefe. Oni na digi den so we room baby baby. Isuni le kendi a oni na boku bara sa obochi dinne. Oni kali gweno wa. Oni abonani ana chi. Chi ne kena ke kari yani ne kere ke manawa oni kere ya. Oni ani ne tu baby baby. Shop, family of IPOB till the restoration of Biafra and beyond all this I pray in the name of the most high that liveth forever Hashem my dear and fellow dear friends I have returned full time and I am coming back and I will bring hell with me thank you very much 
remember bless whatever you are
of Jewish faiths. We are giving thanks, praises unto Hashem because he is the Alpha, he is the Omega, he is the beginning and he is the end. The children of Most High singing and praising that Hashem, he is the Adonai, he is the beginning, who puts our trust on no man but unto Hashem. Unto Hashem do we trust, unto Hashem do we post our trust. Only Hashem, he will save and guide and protect him most and protect his children. We're high, 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 we're high,
worship is going to be praised. We don't worship idol. We don't worship man made. We worship to Koti Kadiyama. That is why the children of Most High, the children of Tukwaki Kabiyama, giving thanks and praises, honor, adoration. Biafra is reality. Biafra is reality. We must acknowledge that we have sinned against the Most High. That against the Most High. We have sinned against the Most High. And we say, Adonai Eloheno, may He have mercy upon us. Let His children return back and worship Him in truth. Without coming back to Hashem, with not returning back to Hashem, we pray down with Stifa. Come back to Hashem. Come back to the old way. Come back to Hashem. Our freedom is shown. Come back to Hashem. Come back to Hashem. Jesus is an idol. He can never give you freedom. He gives freedom is Hashem. The Adonai, the only Adonai, the Elohim. He can give us our freedom. Thank you. The world are listening.
He will surely show us his mercy. Amen. Amen. He showed our answer to Father's mercy, the Lord of Israel. For the years of 48, 1948, to 1967, to 1968, this very year is a remarkable year. A year that cannot be forgotten. In the history of all Israelites, that Jerusalem has been declared. Yes, the holy city, the city of the righteous one, <laughs> the presence of the most high, where the Sakina of Adonai <laughs> recite the words of prayer, where the light of righteousness is being rekindled. <laughs> we like words express ourselves, we like words express our gratitude. But I am calling all Ibo Jews in that Spora and wherever they are to abstain from idolatry. For sin is a reproach to any nation, to a community, to an individual. But righteousness is not a nation. in the days of Solomon, Melech, the king of Israel, where he was dedicated the temple, at the time he said, Adonai Elohim. El Kesedera Kamine Rahum. Remember that mercy. When that people sin and you scatter them. And if they will retake, we are again taken. We have retake again. Hebrew Jews have come out to the realization of whom they are. To restore the life, the faith, the way of life of our sister father, Abraham and Sagar Yaakov. And if they will face the Jerusalem and pray, please answer them when they call. Amen. Amen. And this is what is happening. We are calling him and we will continue to call him. We will never be at rest. For those that remember something for him, we are remembering that he should remember Igbo Jews. Amen. Whatever. Uh, Amen. All Jews scattered all over the world. He will remember some of our brethren, the Ethiopian Falashas. He is remembering them. Remember our American Jews, remember those in South Africa, remember those in Ghana. And I know that one day he who started this war will finish it all. And today, whether it is morning in your area, whether it is afternoon, whether it is night, we say Shalom! Shalom! shalom. Even his own people, 
rose against him. That weed did not got discouraged. That weed did not faint. That weed encouraged himself in Adonai his Elohim. And the Elohim's about begin to fight a battle for him. He went to the battle, he went to the war, and he overcame and he invaded them. To him be the praise. Amen. 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 To him be the praise. Shalom, sir. Shalom, Alaka. Shalom. Sir, please, uh, well, we really thank you. We really thank and appreciate you for this moment giving us to stream this program live. We say, may Hashem guide continue to protect you. Uh, sir, please, I want you to tell the world the secret behind this celebration. Listen carefully. Those that put their trust in Elohim of our sons and fathers, those that have confidence, those that rely upon Him, shall be like the mountain of Zion. I am shocked. I am moved. I am cracked. I become speechless. To what happened this night? Some time ago, somebody asked me a question. This young Igbo Jew, known as Nanda Kar, what do I say about him? I said, Well, was he alive or dead? I said, They should go to military government and ask them. I do not know. Few days ago, it was in all the dailies. Why can't the evil politicians, the aces, the Akadji of Force, the Indians, and also acts of his whereabouts, whether he was alive or dead, the same very day, being confirmed today, it was just like lightning. It was like, what do I call it? You call it miracle? I don't call it miracle. For I know that he that created the heavens and the earth, he that calls the things that hold no being, establishes his facts. Until we understand 
our ancestry homes. The uncircumcised in the north knew their roots. They also size in the southern part know their roots. But we Igbo Jews have forgotten our roots. So this young man, this is our brother and father, this is our friend and a courageous man. Whether he disappeared. Some people call it miracle. Some people may say this is rapture. Okay, I come to Christian order. He raptured to Israel. <laughs> this is the first Christian rapture I have ever experienced. <laughs> that this young man, I use Christian terminology. That this young man raptured from a Farago Ibeku in Umwaya. Then, and I ascended to Yerushalayim. <laughs> hey! I will, I will be there waiting for his people. The day we will rapture. So all our brethren are Christians. I borrow from your word. This is the first rapture we are witnessing in Hebrew land. Life and death. Life and death. Life and death. Shalom. 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 Yeah. Yeah. If it is not the Christian way of rapture, who can tell us the mystery, the secret behind the success of this young man? That is still alive today. Upon all the powers, all the detectives, all the military miles, all the border clothes, how did he disappear? How did he escape the tumor? From which way? To our Father be the praise. Hey. May his name be glorified. Hey. He who preserves him continues to preserve us. He, he who protects him continues to protect us. He, he who has been guiding him to guide continues us. May the angel of his presence be with us. May Michael accompany him wherever he is by his right side. And Michael, as he stands by his right side, let Gabriel stand by his left. And he cry, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. May Gabriel go before him. Amen. May Gabriel stand before him. Amen. As the groom, may the presence of the Most High cover him. His sword, may the foundation of the world be his protection. Amen. May he who shed all Israel, shed him and those that believe in truth and righteousness now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Thank you for that prayer. So please, uh, that's something I want to remind you and remind the world and also our viewers, those who follow our program. There are some questions you do ask your viewers in evil language. You ask them that. Also, Chuma, Ndi Awusa, Haishina Desert, Webalaga. Also, Chuma Ndi Yoruba, Heishi, through the home. The home, I did. This is also Chuma Ibo, Elege Hana, Bala. Also, Chuma Zi, Oh, my brother, you one night working. I knew how to never bother. Because you couldn't hear me. No, I had to talk. I'm going to try the answer. Ah, can you walk with me, Bonnie? Me, oh, the car is running. The car is running. Oh, can you go with me? Put your car. Oh, I'm a boy. My friend, I'm a boy. Boy, boy, boy. Oh, you're from the Afrandi. Che. Put your car. Put your car. Oh, can you go with me? 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 I just sit here in an eye. What you are praying for? What you are advocating for? The restoration of the faith of ancestors and father, Abraham, in which you have his covenant, his seal in our body, which is the first remark, which is the first identity of all Israel, wherever they are. The covenant of circumcision on the eighth day, which we have been uploading. So my advice unto all our people to turn back. Let's face Yerushalayim. Let all of us face Yerushalayim. It's the city of the mighty one of our fathers for peace. So that peace will be with us. Amen. Without him, we can do nothing. He says, he's the first to watch Yerushalayim. Shalom. Shalom. Well, sir, please, sir, you know, all this why, I don't know, maybe, one or two things that have been hindering us from coming live 
the way we used to do in our programs. I know today many people expected us to be on air, but unfortunately we couldn't. Uh, please, uh, I want to know, because so many people have been asking, sending messages, asking, were you present in the Yehudim, that's something they did in Oweri. Yehudim something, so sir. You know, people have been saying that without you, anything about anything about uh, Judaism. Yeah. Yeah. I will not allow you to finish. <laughs> I still lack like words to express myself. There is nothing like Yehudim religion. This is the concussion of Christianity. In other different world. Political Christianity. Apostasy high order. Okay. If they are Jews, if they are Israelites, if they are practicing Judaism, do they believe in Shema Israel? Adonai Rohenu, Adonai Eka. This is the first identity of a Jew. Be a part of political, religious uh, uh, jumbling. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Formation. Another idolatry in diverse way. But, sir, I, I, I wish you could have been there to collect your own share. Share of what? From government. I was invited. I yes. was promised over heaven and earth. A lot of things were said. Allocations and so on and so forth. How can I violate the law of the creator of heaven and earth? Just coming out. Thank you, sir. Let me say, if I forget you, I don't lie. May my right hand forget his corner. How can he be a holy gathering and then breaking the law of the creator of heaven and earth? You won't keep on in, which you know the only time every Jew had to present himself with all supplication for the next one year. I regret. Well, thank I you, know sir. that one day, those that are still worrying, those that are still in river blindness, those that are still dozing, those that are still, I am so getting, we need their assistance, we need their cooperations, for materially, prayerly, and otherwise. Evil Jews are dwelling in the city of corruption. <coughs> we are handicapped. We are doing everything we can do. Even with our blood to make sure that this program is, is going on. That's why I'm thanking all our brethren, all our people, our Jewish brethren, the rabbis. Chisom, wherever you are. Rabbi Roto, Abraham Shalom. Let me tell you very soon for you to know who we are and our roots. Rabbis will be coming. A time is coming we are believing that in this among Igbo Jews, the rabbi will come and be speaking for one, two, three days if what we are saying is true. Okay. So we apologize to all our friends, all our viewers. All our people that are concerned in this program, be patient with us. In no longer time, two ends must come together Amen. to his own glory and praise. Amen. Now and forevermore. Amen. 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 Thank you, viewers. I've come to the end of this program. Thank you and shalom. 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 shalom.